In video 2, we're going to talk about edit in the menu bar. We're going to talk about the edit menu, but first I need to bring in a painting. So I'm going to do file, recent files, and bring in a painting. Now when we go into edit, you've got the normal undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, but then you've also got resize the painting. So I'm going to bring it up by clicking on it and it brings up this dialog box. Now you have your screen size and you have your print size. And your print size will change and then it'll show you the screen size down here. If I go back to screen size, then the print size will be back down here with the number of pixels per inch. Now, when you're resizing a painting, you can preserve the original aspect or you can uncheck it and do something different. I like to keep it preserved. And let's say I want to expand my painting, say up to 840. And then if I click in here, it'll change and these percentages will change. Then all I have to do is click OK. And it will be resized. Let's go back to undo. If I go into edit and crop and expand the canvas, this is a little bit different. I'm going to click on it and you can see a picture of my painting is right here. Now again you have the screen size and the print size and also the menu box. So we can leave it at preserve and if I want to expand the canvas, let's say I want to go up to 940 and click in here and it will automatically change as you can see it has been expanded around my actual picture. Now, when you click on this, you can have it be at the top left, the top center, the top right, center left, complete center, center right, bottom left, bottom center, and bottom right. Now if I wanted it in the bottom center and not quite as much up here, I could then change this like to 840 and it's gone a little bit in up more on the sides and a little bit more on the top and then I could click OK. And if I go down, you can see more was put in here. Sometimes that's extremely handy when you're painting and then you suddenly realize you haven't left enough on the sides to mat your painting. So now let's undo, go back down, go into edit, and then you can crop to selection and I'll show you how to do that later when we get into the tools. You can clear the layer from here. You can transform the layer contents. For instance, if I click this, then whatever layer I'm in will show you the transformation and you can move it or you can rotate it. I'm going to click out. I'm going to go to edit and this is the one I totally love, transform all layers. That means even if you have them in layers and haven't grouped them, if you use this, you can make all of your layers go smaller. This is another way you can give space around your actual part that you've painted. Now I'm going to go out of here, go into edit and select all selects the entire painting. If I go into edit, I can deselect all. Remember that's control D. I can invert the selection. 
I can select layer contents. I can blur the layer if I wanted to. Let's deselect all. Let's go into edit and adjust layer colors. And this comes up. Now these are sliders. You can increase the brightness of that particular layer I'm on. See how it's gone wider? There's the contrast. There's the hue. And the color. I could make her a little more punk. And you can flatten the layer to a bitmap or colorize with paint color. So I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to do any of that. Let's go back in and filters. Whatever you have in the filters folder will show up here.